You signed the giving pledge, agreeing to give away half your money. What did your children say about that? <laughs> well, it's interesting. They've been involved in our philanthropic efforts since they were young. And uh, my wife, Lori, Lori defines wealth as that she can buy any book she wants. Uh, and so I think that's been instilled in our children from the very beginning. By the way, your, to your our wife, educator you, met, you met your wife in high school? We met in seventh grade. Seventh grade, and you've been married for how long? Well, we just celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. Okay, congratulations. Um, professor? Okay, so you didn't date around when you were in the seventh grade, you just... <laughs> <laughs> Well, and we didn't really, we dated maybe once in the ninth grade. Okay. But, you know, she knew who I was, I knew who she was. Okay. She was voted in high school the most likely to succeed, so I wanted to hang around her as much as I could. <laughs> but what were you? You weren't voted that? I was voted the most spiritist, friendliest at that time. Okay, so you grew up in Los Angeles, is that right? Yes. Uh, my father was a lawyer and an accountant, and my mom was a homemaker, and Yes, I got to work. Anyone who's the child of a person has his own accounting firm. You know, you get to work on balance sheets and tax returns when you're eight. Okay. <laughs>